Hello everyone, this is the Masked Analyst. Just before Hard Case left the building, uh, he'd sent me a message asking what my opinion of this whole uh, dust-up between him and the Amazing Atheist uh, is. Unfortunately, I haven't been paying much attention the past couple of days, and so I missed uh, some of his videos before he took them down. So, this is just a provisional opinion based on the Amazing Atheist videos that I've seen. First of all, I want to say to the atheist, uh, Amazing Atheist, you know, I really, really, really hope to the universe that your your dog improves. Now, yes, I too am an atheist, I'd say a weak one, but I, I too would call myself an atheist, and I will still hope, hope to, for the universe, uh, though that may be illogical. Now, why do we do this? I think that's uh, something that almost everybody does, even atheists, when uh, when they're in desperate situations. They really dig down and have that hope. I can only speculate that we probably evolved with a need to control our environment. And when someone close to you is dying, you lose that control. I know that a couple of years ago, a really good friend of mine was dying of Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS. And that is perhaps the most horrible disease that anyone could die for. Now, this was a wonderful person. Uh, she was really, really loved by hundreds of people in, in the community. Uh, she had, and I was really, really hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that she would get better. And I know hundreds of people were praying for her, hundreds of Christians. Well, God didn't do anything about that. Gee, thanks, big guy. Uh, <laughs> so, so Christians' prayers were about as effective as my hoping for the universe. That is not at all. But this hoping, this longing for control, it satisfies a need within us, a very human need. And one should not belittle that in another atheist uh, because of this. It doesn't make anyone less of an atheist. Which is a slightly different topic I want to talk about. It, it seems that I've seen from time to time and Brett Keane I know is very big on this, uh, on accusing everyone, uh, uh, on accusing some adversary of being less of an atheist than he is. Uh, and I've seen other people do that, but I'm really not sure I understand this whole thing of um, this atheist purity. I, 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 I just don't get it. I have to admit that. Um, I, I don't see that this should be a, a competition as to who can be the most atheistic or not. But I think that hard case, what hard case said was absolutely true in the logical frame of things. He, he said uh, that you can't really, really hope for a higher being of some sort and, and still be an atheist. And what he said technically was true uh, because it does kind of violate uh, the definition of atheism. However, people do not always behave logically and when you're in a time of stress and a time of need uh, you're going to hope you're going to ask others to hope and that's just part of being human later on as time passes then one will come to one's logical senses again and realize yeah well I really needed to hope and I needed others to hope for me that was an emotional need but it didn't make any but it's uh, it's illogical but it's a need nonetheless now, I thought that hard case was in the wrong here, uh, as far as jumping on uh, the amazing atheist for that. Uh, it was, it was, it was uh, kicking him, I guess, when he was kind of down. But uh, I don't consider this to be such a, ma a major thing that it's worthy of closing an account. And I don't think it's uh, people do make mistakes, and I don't think it's. Uh, a serious enough wrong that people should be getting on his uh, that people should be hard on his case for that if you will uh, so yeah I, I, I'm i very sympathetic in this whole dust up uh, toward the amazing atheist uh, I can understand why he said what he did um, and 
what Hardcase said from from the little clip that I saw that the Amazing Atheist played. What Hardcase said was technically correct, but uh, sometimes you, it it pays to be a little bit diplomatic. Sometimes it pays to overlook the technicalities, and I think this was one of those times. However, this is nothing, and maybe you closed your account, Hardcase, for reasons other than this. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I got this mail first thing in the in the morning. By the time I got off of work to take a look and see what was going on, your account was closed. This certainly isn't worth closing your account over. Uh, maybe there was another reason you closed it. I don't know. But I can only uh, uh, give one conclusion here. Hard case. Get your ass back on here. Open that account now. We, I know I speak uh, only for myself, but I'm going to miss you. I'm sure a lot of other people are going to miss you. Uh, yeah, sometimes you weren't necessarily all, all that reasonable. Oftentimes you were. But you always brought wit and intelligence uh, and humor uh, to your arguments. Uh, and usually when you own somebody, they usually deserved it. And you, you own some people with a panache, a style that's uh, very funny. I want to see you back. Get your ass back in here. I know you closed your account. I know it's possible to open an account after it's been closed again. I know the Red Skull closed his account and within a day or so he reopened his. So you can reopen yours. Do it. This has been the Mass Analyst under an N.